Hey guys, what's going on? It's Sarge here and welcome to the NBA 2K22 rebuild for the San Antonio Spurs. And guys, I'm going to be doing this rebuild a little different, but we'll get into that in a few minutes. But here's the rules that I'm going to be working with for this rebuild. I turned on the customized simple and advanced settings. You'll see me do that. I'm keeping on all the CBA stuff, keeping on the role playing elements. Uh, I have the budgets all set up so I can do all that. Uh, retirements are going to be simmed just because uh, we're going to start from the off season and the play-in tournament is still going to happen. So let's keep it moving so we can see what else we're going to be doing. So for this, I'm going to be doing a 58 game season because I'm going to be hopping in and playing some of the, the matchups for the Spurs in some of these games. And I'm going to set the quarter length to seven minutes and the sim quarter length is going to be seven minutes as well. And we're gonna turn on these storylines and we are gonna normalize um, the stats in simulations to match our stats. So that way nobody is gonna be, you know, scoring 30 points a game when we're scoring, maybe our highest score is getting like 15, 16, you know? Um, all this is gonna stay the same. Uh, off season auto, the only thing autoed here is gonna be uh, Hall of Fame, Jersey retirements, Everything that, you know, regular retirements, everything else is going to be all on us. We got to handle that. Protected players is going to be eight, just as usual. All of this. Uh, we might bump up the draft class quality for the generated classes. Let's say 55. Um, this is all going to stay the same for right now. We, we have no need to bump this up or down or left or right. And here, this is all going to be the same computer trade offers, computers doing trades. We don't need to do trade approval. 50% is probably good. If we have to adjust anything, you know, we will. Um, this I might tweak a little bit here because, let's see. Oh no, not for trades, for sign, this, trade pick value. So for contending teams, it might not be as important for buying teams. Uh, the picks are not as important, you know, it seems okay, but actually let's bump up the rebuild, buying can go down a little and we'll bump contending, we'll bump contending back a couple, just because if they're contending, they're going to want to win now, you know, draft pick depreciation, I'm pretty sure it's fine, I haven't seen anything that really leads me to believe otherwise. And this is probably gonna be fine. Injuries are on. We're not gonna use roster injuries. I wanna play with everybody normally. Um, you know, we'll leave it at 50. If anybody gets hurt, they end up getting hurt. You know, that's the way it is. Uh, progression is gonna be 50. Training, um, you know, I'm gonna say if you're training a little higher, you should be getting a little more. Oh, this is for low work ethic. You know, if you got a good work ethic, Get on up there a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We'll give that a 52. We'll give that a 51 as well. Uh, team player. Add it a little bit. Confident will go off one. And that'll be fine. All this is going to be the same. You know, whatever it is. Uh, it's going to be on Hall of Fame, but I am going to change the sliders. And you're going to see me change the sliders in a few minutes. Uh, as we move through this, um, all that's fine. We're going to turn on all these headlines for stuff as we progress through the year. I want to see all this stuff on the ticker in case I'm taking some time, or maybe you guys can even uh, end up seeing it. So that's going to be everything there. Now, our team is going to be the San Antonio Spurs, and here's why. We got two great young point point guards, shooting guards, let's just say guards in general, right? Deontay Murray is amazing. Derek White is very solid. Keldon Johnson's been really good in his first year. And then there's a lot of pieces under that that could be used for rebuilding assets, but Vassal's young and good. Eubanks, pretty solid. Lonnie Walker's great. And then, we, you know, we got some, some vet pieces we might need to move. Maybe we have to move Thaddeus Young. We got some, some assets here and there. And we'll see what we have to do. But I think this team's a good mix, a good balance. And overall, it's a good size of a team. And it's pretty fun. But I'm going to make it realistic. I'm not going to be going crazy, you know, doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And here's Randy Lucas, our governor. 
he he has a lot of importance and success in image and even more in franchise morale and he's not really involved so it's pretty much hands off and I'm probably running the show which is good so we are gonna select I didn't select them I just clicked on them that's on me we're gonna select the Spurs and we are gonna head in to start this rebuild um, we are actually gonna auto generate the rookies I'm not gonna go ahead and do anything anything too wacky we are gonna meet with our assistant GM first so let's go say hello to them apparently my name's Abraham what's going on oh I could just talk to him okay uh, you know we'll praise him right off rip okay well he didn't like what we had to say but that's all right Abraham We'll we'll turn it around on you don't worry so I do have I do have pending tasks, so all of these are tasks that I need to get, so let's get them. From Coach Pop, what does Greg want to give us? We should either move... So he said, get rid of an expiring contract and get two lottery picks. And we don't have any right now. So... I guess based on how the year goes, uh, maybe our pick will turn into one. I don't even know if we have a pick. I'll check that later. We get three tasks coming up from the CFO. Let's see what they got to say. Need to improve our wins and losses this season. Limit our losses in the near future. Um, I'll express some doubts. Our attendance has been good, but you want to fill the house? I'll fill the house, don't you worry. And too many empty seats, attendance at the top of the league. We'll try and again get the get that up game up up by the end. So don't lose more than 45 games. So basically be a playoff team. Uh, I think that's doable, certainly. Um, sell out 18 games and have top 10 attendance. I don't know if we'll get top 10, but we'll certainly also 45 games. <laughs> don't lose more than 45 games. We're playing a 58 game season. <laughs> We've <laughs> okay, I think we're going to complete that one. That's pretty easy. And we're eighth in attendance. And let's see what Deontay Murray wants from us. We need some more vets. All right. Deontay Murray wants two veterans on the roster. I'm going to assume a veteran is considered somebody with like 10, M 10 NBA service years. If I had to take a shot in the dark. And here's how it's going to go. If we lose two games in a row, I am going to be playing the game. And, but first, let me turn on the sliders that I want to use, that I have been using. These are the custom sliders that we're going to be using. So, computer has a little less success rate here, but they got really good dunk and stuff and body up sensitivity. They, they make a lot of stuff. Um, you know, vertical speed, on-ball defense is good, awareness is crazy. You really have to like play well, play inside. Um, I'm also gonna be shooting on real player percentage as well. As you see my shots compared to theirs, they're sitting at 46, 45, 55, 56. I'm sitting at 38, 35, 47, 47. Um, layup success is at 40, theirs is at 46. Uh, coverage is a little different, just to impact the, the contests on defense. Um, fact of the matter is, we play a good team, we're going to get beat. You know, if we play somebody who's able to shoulder the load for them, uh, like, say, Jason Tatum or LeBron James or Luka Doncic, you know, if they're able to move the ball and beat, through and beat us up, they're probably going to beat us. The GM skills tree, I have a skill tree obviously, which is good. And the first thing I always use it on is trade finder, just because if we're looking to trade some of these guys and find trades, and a lot of our stuff is based on trades, expiring contract, lottery picks, and getting a veteran on the team, um, we're gonna need the trade finder for a little bit of help. That's, that's a fact. One more thing I wanna set up here um, before we get into this Clippers game. I'm gonna play this Clippers game for our first game of the year. Um, but the first thing I want to do is hop into player mentorship. And I don't know if you've really delved into this any bit, but it's really, really good to get players developing. Um, 
This team doesn't have a lot of veterans though, so I don't know who's really gonna benefit from anything. Apparently Doug McDermott's the one doing him right now, but I would rather Thaddeus because he's gonna get a bigger boost for being um, same position. So as you see by, if I use post spin or if I use back down or put back balls, by, you know, end of May into June, it should be up to a bronze tier badge. Grace under pressure as well. Uh, we will use Grace under pressure. That's gonna be a good badge for us. Uh, we'll also use post playmaker and interceptor is a great badge for defense as well. So we will set that mentorship with Keldon Johnson. And Doug McDermott's kind of a vet in the league. So let's see. Yeah, he's gonna give Devin Vassell a big boost to shooting, especially this catch and shoot on gold. Um, pretty much just before we hit playoff time in the season, Devin Vassell will be a catch and shoot bronze at least, which is great. And then let's get slippery off ball up, another silver badge. And for the last one, let's just use sniper, why not? So that'll be our second mentorship, Devin Vassell with our boy, Dougie McBuckets. And everything else, I don't really have an ability to give a mentorship there. So I do think I need another vet, and I think it should be a point guard, honestly. A guard position to help Deontay Murray out or help uh, Derek White out. Or possibly even somebody else a little deeper on the roster. Just to help the developmental. That means next episode we are going to start our first game against the LA Clippers. And then based on that, we'll do a little simming and see how it all works out. And maybe we'll be able to get some trades working or something. But guys, I appreciate you coming out, checking out the first video in the series. And uh, we will catch you on the next one.